final weekend with us here at St. Hubert, I had the privilege today to speak with Deacon David Jameson and ask him some questions about his experience leading up to his ordination. So let, but let's go backwards in your journey first. Let's, um, let's go back to the fall of last year. Um, so you were in the Holy Land uh, towards the end of 2021, um, knee deep in the pandemic. Um, how was that? How was the Holy Land in a time of pandemic? Well, it was, uh, it was an unusual experience uh, in some ways. I had, I had been there in 2014, and uh, one of the things about 2014 was it was just everywhere you went, all these different sites where, where the Lord had been, all these different places we read about in Scripture, they're always so busy, and there's always people around, uh, always, and there's always crowds. Um, I, I know when I went in 14, I would go to daily Mass at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. And this time, going, that was the thing. There was no one. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was no one around. You had all the time in the world to pray at these different sites um, in quiet and silence. Um, so that was, that was uh, we were the only, you know, the only tour group in the country. I think we ran into one other tour group from another country. Um, but. But by and large, we were the only ones there. Um, so, so that was really a, a blessing in a lot Absolutely. of Absolutely. But at the same time, uh, you know, when I went in 2014, I was there for three months. So I had, in a lot of ways, I had more time to spend. I, I got to go to these places several times. Whereas this time, I was only there three weeks. And so it was just very fast from one place to the next. Only spending about an hour, you know, these places. So in, in some ways, I felt rushed, you know, at the same time, even though there was no one there. Sure. It felt like I was a little rushed and praying. Um, so it, it, in that way, it wasn't, uh, wasn't what I was expecting, I guess. But it was, uh, yeah. Well, you said it was a blessing and truly, um, going without these mass crowds is a blessing. Um, did anything stand out during, uh, w whether physically a building, a place, or, or just your, your quiet time? What stood out and, and, and how did it impact you? I think one of the big things that stuck out this time and going as opposed to last time. Um, you know, last time I went in 2014, I was Catholic, but I wasn't with a tour group. I didn't have the privilege of being able to um, pray and attend Mass at each of these places. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and this time, everywhere we went, you know, each day we had a Mass at one of these uh, sites. and. Um, and that's what stood out, I think, probably the most during the entire trip was everywhere we went when we prayed Mass, we would talk about, um, you know, that God became man here mm. in this place. Mm. Every Mass that we, we celebrated, it always worked that part in, that here in this place, this is what happened. You know, this is how God's people uh, encountered God through the person of Jesus Christ. And so, in a lot of ways, it, it made it very real to me that uh, Christ entered into our presence, and took on our flesh, took on our experience. And uh, that's what stuck out to me this time. It was different than last time. It was just that reinforcement of that concept over and over again that, um, you know, that our Lord did that, that he took on our flesh, took on our experience, and we have experienced him. Um, truly experience them in the flesh. And, and, and that helps, you know, when you're going through different things in life, you know, knowing that he's with you in that way. That's fascinating. I mean, really, I, to, to experience that and, and firsthand walk the same ground, right. pray the same places, I, just, just fascinating. Um, it's been a privilege to see you grow and develop here. Thank you. Um, and uh, it almost feels like uh, sending forth uh, our parish child. <laughs> Don't be offended by it. No, I, I'm just such a big, big child. A big kid. <laughs> Thank you very much. God uh, bless you in your ministry. And, you. and may you be that shepherd that, that God called you to be. Thank you. Please pray for me. I'll be praying for all of you. Thank you.